Well, hi there, everybody. This is uh, one of uh, a series of videos which are going to attempt to explain to you a little bit about the uh, ancient art and skill of knotting using ropes for useful purposes. Well, I'm going to start off with some very, very simple knots. So I'm uh, just going to move the camera so that you can see my working area. So you probably won't see much of me, but you'll see my my hands and the ropes that we're doing the various uh, knots with. Now the first knot that we're going to use is almost not a knot. It's very, very simple and it's called a timber hitch and it's used for gathering up timber uh, cuttings from uh, uh, working on hedges and bushes getting together materials for perhaps a, a campfire or a cooking fire in uh, in camp and this will enable you to bundle together large difficult items and pull them along and it's a very simple knot and all you have to do is to go to the rear end of what you're going to pull so these logs I'm going to pull in this this direction now what I've done I've just tucked the rope round the logs and then all I'm going to do is to take it round the working part of the rope and just twist it and tuck it under two or three times. Very simple. Just like that. And that's called a timber hitch. And to complete the exercise, all that you do is to move along to the end that you're going to be pulling from and do a simple overhand knot or thumb knot like that and then that produces a secure bundle which you can then pull in any direction that you want okay so that's a timber hitch and that's probably one of the simplest knots that you can use. Okay, we're now going to move on to another very simple knot, which is called a thumb knot and all the thumb knot is is just crossing the rope over and tucking it through the middle that's called a thumb knot the reason it's called a thumb knot is that many many years ago if somebody wanted to remember something they would just take a, a piece of string tie a, th a thumb knot and slip it over their thumb just like that pull it tight and if they just leave it round their thumb and it would tell them during the day they'd see their hands they'd see the bit of string on there and it would remind them that they had to do something it wouldn't remind them what they had to do but it was at least a reminder that they had to do something and that was called a thumb knot because it was just a simple overhand knot which 
you slip round the thumb. So that is called a thumb knot or an overhand knot. And the next question is what can you do with it? Well, one simple use of a thumb knot is that if you've got any situation where you've got a piece of cord or string that is going through perhaps a piece of metal or cord needs to be fixed in place you need what's called a stopper on the end which will prevent the rope from pulling through and if you do a thumb knot that is bulky enough to stop the string from being pulled through and it's exactly the same if you're working with a needle and cotton you start off with tying a thumb knot in the end of the thread or cotton so that you don't pull it through the material and that starts your stitching if you want to make it a little bit more bulky then you take the end over and tuck it under as I did with the simple thumb knot but then you take it round again and pull it through so you've wound it round twice now when you pull that it makes rather an attractive looking knot which when it pulls up makes a very very good stopper knot and is also quite decorative it's often used in uh, decorative rope work and it's the sort of knot that you'll see hanging on the cords that are often tied round the waist of a nun or a monk and that's called a blood knot and that is uh, still a stopper knot but it's a little bit more bulkier little bit neater and again I've tied one there and that can be used as a stopper knot now that's the first use second use is if you want to tell, tie together two pieces of cord which are the same size okay I'm just using these two ends and the way that you do it is you put the two ends side by side and then with each of the three ends you tie a thumb knot tying it so that the piece you're holding on to goes away from the knot and you tie it with the other piece of rope threaded through it then you go back to the other end you take the other end of the piece of rope and tie another thumb knot again with the end pointing outwards and you'll find you've got a knot which you can slide together and that's called a fisherman's knot it's often used for tying together um, twine fishing line but it can be used for lines of any size providing that each end is the same size and that's called a fisherman's knot and the other thing that you can do with a thumb knot is to start to tie it but instead of pulling the end right through you just pull a loop through and that's called a running loop and it's a very useful loop because if you want to secure a thin rope to a thick rope all you do is to make this running loop with the thin rope put the end of the thicker rope through and pull it 
until you see it's tight like that. And then what you do, you're pulling this loop through the centre of the knot. And what happens, it pulls the thicker rope with it. And you finish up with that knot, which is actually called a sheet bend. A sheet is a name for a working rope um, in uh, yachting and uh, naval use. And that's called a sheet bend. For uh, bend is a name for any knot that joins two ropes together. And if you want to make it a little bit more secure, you can take this, this end and you can thread it through again. That's called doubling. And that just makes it a little bit more secure. So in this short session, we've used a very simple twisted type knot um, called timber hitch to bundle up timber and we've started to use uh, thumb knots or single knots which are often the start for a lot of other slightly more complicated knots which I'll come on to next time. Thank you.